Garcelle said, new year, new me. Listen, Erica, it might have been cute last year when you were bullying me and making me sit quiet in the corner. But guess what? I'm on The View and I got a bigger platform than you. So guess what? I got something to say and everybody listen up. Well, guess what? We are listening. Y'all, Garcelle has been going in on Erica Jane all week. And she's even enlisted her co-host from The View. Now, here's the thing, right? The co-hosts are telling a story. And the story, I'm going to let you hear the audio's receipts in a second. This is a story everybody's been talking about. But I want you to hear it straight from the horse's mouth, right? Here's what I take away, right? Here's my takeaway of it. The fact that they're on national TV saying this, the fact that they have the same impression of Erica, lets me know that this is actually Garcelle's real feelings on Erica. But baby, you don't even have to wonder how Garcelle feels because she said this about unfollowing Erica. She said what she said in the Nini voice. And her Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, I was going to say R-H-O-B-H, uh-huh. uh, castmate Sutton Strack unfollowed Erica Jane on social Ooh. media. After, followed Erica Jane on social Ooh. media. After, alleged fight during <laughs> taping of the show. Ooh. Now, Garcelle, there has been rumors floating around that you have not been playing any games with Erica Jane at all this season. <laughs> but okay, we want to hear it from you directly. Garcelle, what prompted you to unfollow Erica Jane on social media? Mm-hmm. Okay, all I can say is she called me something that I did not like. And so therefore, when you when somebody offends you in a way, I don't want to see her post. I don't want to put a little like. So I thought, I'm going to unfollow her. I don't want to see her post. Did I know it was going to cost World War Three? Unfollowing someone is huge, apparently, because yes. it was breaking news all over the place. Yeah. Friends and I, friends were texting me going, I can't believe you unfollowing her. It's such a big deal. But yeah. it is. I guess it's a new way of saying, I don't like you, but I don't want to tell you, so I'm just going to unfollow you. Yeah. Or, or you did tell her, and we just have to wait to watch the episode. Right, exactly. But you also unfollowed her. It was a double whammy. It was a I- double whammy, and people Ooh. were outraged. Uh, or she was outraged, too, I think. I, she could care less. I believe she did comment under someone saying, oh, well, I guess I should unfollow her, too. Yeah. Whether yeah. it was about you or about Sutton. But then she didn't unfollow you. Is she still following you? I have no idea. I'm not I, checking. Yeah, I'm she's not still checking following. for those things. Yeah, yeah. No, that was big news, Garcelle. G Money, you cannot do this to me, okay? <laughs> we needed to know. I had, I wrote down questions. <laughs> I know. My question so says... crazy. What? Uh, uh, does it have anything to do with her moral responsibility to what her husband did? Oh. Mm, that was my question. Mm, no, she just said it was something that she she called her a name. Yes. So she said she called her a name. Woo! Would you I'll say that you guys that. are friends or not friends? Say that again? Would you say that you all are friends or not friends? Right now? Not friends. Okay. Well, there you have Ooh. it. Ooh. Woo! Da, da, da. This going to be a good season. <laughs> Listen, if that wasn't shady enough, I appreciate Garcelle. She said, I don't like the bee. So I unfollowed her. No, she said, I don't. And then everybody called her and was like, yo, Garcelle, you know what that means when you unfollow people. It means you don't mess with them. And she said, "Mm mm-hmm, yes, I'm aware. Oh, does it? Oh, well. It's good a time of any to let everybody know how I feel. But yo, it also goes to show, listen to this next clip. This is a longer clip, but there's so much juice in here about how Garcelle really feels about Erica and even about um, the way the ladies react to her. Now, I will say, she does make a, a reference to the way people that look like Adrian and Lonnie agree with her and support her. And I remember thinking, who? Let's see some receipts. Because I don't think anybody believes you. But they also go in about how disgusting they think Erica is. Y'all, Garcelle ain't come to play. Listen to this. Might have to surrender $750,000 worth of diamonds. A bankruptcy trustee is not playing around about her diamond earrings, claiming Erica's estranged husband bought them with stolen client money. According to court docs, Tom Girardi bought the very expensive diamond earrings back in 2007 from M&M's jewelers using a money that was in a client trust account at his old law firm, Girardi and Keys. The trustee in Girardi and Keys bankruptcy case alleges Tom hid the transaction by describing the purpose of the check on G and Keys trust account as a cost item paid to M&M. The trustee is now mandating that Erica surrender the diamond earrings to the bankruptcy estate 
The judge hasn't made an official ruling yet, but Erica may have to give up the diamonds if the bankruptcy trustee wins the case. So ladies, what are your thoughts? If I knew this information and I had those diamonds, I would not want those diamonds. My, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing I have diamonds that were paid for with money that was robbed from innocent families. And I would be like, I would want to turn those in. I, I don't want those earrings. Yeah, I mean, I don't know anything else to say. What that just he seems did, like the right thing to do. You know, allegedly to those victims, it's horrible. Just, it's horrible. Just horrible. And I would, I mean, I would just get rid of everything that yeah. all the gifts that he gave me. I mean, I know that that may seem extreme, but there are people that are still suffering to this day yes. because they didn't <clears throat> receive the funds, you know, that they should have uh, received. So I don't even see why this is a question. For the loss of their family members. You can always yeah. buy other diamonds. I think, I don't know everything, but I feel like if I was in Erica's shoes, I would do the same thing. Yeah. I would give up the diamond up. quickly. I believe she's giving them to a third party until it's decided if she does have to give them back. But I agree with you. There's so much more that she could do just to, if, even if she's not guilty of knowing everything that Tom was doing. Yeah. But this is a way of saying, I have compassion for you. Right. And therefore, Take the take jewel. It, take, take it. Gear. I don't even take want the it. necklace. I mean, That's when she yeah. shows up for work, yeah. she is diamond out. Yeah, I'd be like, you know? I so want she's no got parts. a lot. So getting rid of those diamond earrings is not going to hurt her. Yeah, she got a lot. So why are you, you know? Yeah. I don't Man, know. Man, I would be like, it ain't even about what I have or what I took. If that was the last pair of diamonds I had, I'd still want to turn them over. Right. But like, why is this even a discussion? If somebody ever brought this to my attention and said, hey, this may happen, even if it was a, I'd be like. Take them. Here, take it, because I don't even want... Take them. I would not want to be associated with any of that. I wouldn't want to be associated with the idea of that. I wouldn't want people to even think that these grand things that I own right. came from, from that situation. Like, that right. just, I would be like... And you wouldn't no get questions. the joy out of wearing them. No. You remember when we went to Garcelle's birthday party? Yeah. And she came over to me and you? Yeah. And was trying to talk to us, and we were like this. <laughs> I mean, I was tr I was trying to hear her out because you always want to hear someone out. Yeah, but I just felt like you know you didn't want to hear anything. So yeah, you no, I was just like, first of, of all, I'm on camera, you know, <laughs> and you like, you know, you coming yeah. over here, and she was like, you know, the people that believe me the most. They, they she did. And I was like... She actually pointed at her own skin and said, they are not yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, that's what she said. She and I was, was like, like those yeah. are the people that are against me, and the ones that are riding with me are How the people that? that look and like And I was like, us. oh, here we go. But she did, she did make a few good points, and what she was saying at that time was that she really had no idea. But my thing is, now that you do have an idea, Give you need to rectify those. the situation. Yeah. She was genuinely saying that in a lot of situations, and we grew That's up with people in said. the- That's what she said. I was so lit. I know, so was I, but I, I was, was trying like, to pay attention. Everybody was lit I was at trying that to pay attention. Party. I've never seen such a thing. She was <laughs> saying, was listen, gone. there's some people whose husbands like, have whole other families, and yeah, they don't know about- Yeah, she was giving like, like, all of the things, like, And I was like, yeah, and then that's what I was, I was trying to walk away. I was trying to drink my drink because I was getting on a flight. me, talking, and I was like, where's Garcelle? <laughs> this woman telling me because I would have to go to the court of law. Your okay. honor, she, I she was like mercy an on the court. It was a lot. They gonna have me over there. Oh, oh you know, my in court. God, you guys. So, yeah, yeah, but then no, please do the right thing. Hopefully do, the, do right the right thing. thing. Just do the right thing. Rectify yeah. the situation and get yourself as far away from any of that. Yeah. Y'all, what do you think? Listen, I don't know about y'all, but I keep not a tight leash on my friends, but my friends move as one. If we're on a national TV show and we're cohorts, please believe that anything my friends echoed, it came straight from my mouth. They're literally just taking up for me. Because here's the thing. The only impression they have of Erica is what Garcelle tells them. Yo, Garcelle ain't playing. And that's right, mama. Use your platform. Use it well. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Are y'all going to be watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Do you want me to review it? I mean, I am going to review it. But are you guys going to be watching my reviews? Let me know. I'm actually really excited for this season because besides the fact that we knew that Garcelle and Sutton have beef with Erica. We don't know what any of the fights are about. We don't know what's going on. The producers are keeping this pretty locked and tight, just like Real Housewives of Atlanta. But anyway, y'all, let me know what you think. I'll talk to y'all later.